what's up guys i'm akila welcome to my channel in today's video i'm doing the bomb challenge where i use makeup products by black owned makeup brands and before we get into that i wanted to talk about a few things um i recorded this video a few days ago um since recording this video a lot of things have happened on social media when it comes to brands and their diversity jackie Ina and the owner of oma beauty made up a challenge called pull up or shut up um the instagram name is pull up for change uh i'll link everything down below and i'll leave some stuff on the screen for you guys to see and pretty much the challenge is for all these brands that was talking about diversity and being here for black people we wanted to know if you guys are actually hiring black people they were given 72 hours to list the stats of their company and how many people of color and black women do they employ in corporate level jobs needless to say the numbers are a little disappointing but not really surprising because we know that that happens it really doesn't matter if it's a beauty company i feel like it's always the same seeing brands like colourpop and ben murphy um which are brands that i use heavily on my channel and in my content it was pretty disappointing to see them have less than five percent of <laughs> their employees be black women at the same time it, it makes sense because when you see the kind of content they put out or the kind of people that you see on their accounts it all makes sense you could kind of tell that there isn't a person there to have a voice for black women but yeah as a content creator i want to do my part i feel like just as i would like to pay attention to the things that i put in my body and where i spend my money i would do the same when it comes to makeup i'm going to be more conscious about the brands that i use in my videos and on my instagram i mean hopefully in the next three to six months we could see changes made in these companies they vowed to do better so i guess we'll see but until then some brands you guys won't really see me promote on my channel as much i'm not saying that i'm going to throw away my makeup that i already own i'm still going to use it but i'm not going to make it a thing so with that being said let's go ahead and get into today's video what's up guys i'm akila welcome to my channel in today's video we're gonna be doing a trend that kind of came out a few years ago and it's called the bomb challenge for that challenge we're only using products made from black beauty brands when i started this year one of the challenges i wanted to do for myself was to try out more brands made by black women i wanted to be more conscious of the brands i was spending my money with i wanted to make sure just as easy i would buy it like a anastasia beverly hills palette i wanted to make sure that i spend my money within my own community as well so if you would like to see some of the products that i own and the look that i come up with please keep on watching if you can hear the grass being cut i'm sorry i tried to wait they've been doing it since like 11 o'clock and it's now one so i just couldn't wait anymore so my brows are already done and my skin is already prepped for the most part <laughs> um i don't own a primer from a black beauty brand um so if you have one let me know down below well if you have one that's your favorite let me know down below um again today we're going to be using the pat mcgrath skin fetish foundation this is one of my newer pickups after i did the pat mcgrath concealer review i really like this foundation so i went and picked it up while there was a sale and i really like this foundation it's um i'm not gonna lie when it came out and i seen the price tag and i heard that it wasn't full coverage or close to full coverage especially for the price point i just wasn't interested at all but after trying it it's a really nice foundation it um yes it's not full coverage but it covers enough and whatever it doesn't cover i feel like the concealer is a nice added bonus because the concealer is like next to full coverage and i'm gonna go in with one more pump in the areas where i need a little bit more coverage 
um, like in this area right here. I'm trying to figure out what concealer I want to use because I do have the Juvia's Place concealers and these are pretty nice as well. It's it's very skin like but full coverage and I also have the Pat McGrath concealers as well. I'm just going to use the Pat concealers. I have plenty of other Juvia's Place products that I'm going to be using in this video. I also have the foundation from Demented. I really wanted to use this foundation today, but I want to do a whole dedicated video to the Minted because it will be my first time trying out their products and I didn't want to come on here trying it out for the first time. So if you would like to see that, that should be coming up soon. Okay, the concealer I have on already is MD17 and this is MD22 and I'll use this color just to like hide like any darkness i have like hyperpigmentation around my mouth while my concealer sets i'm going to contour in this area as well i have i have some options i love juvia's place namibia as a contour it's like a really really pretty shade you can use this as foundation as well and I have the Fenty Matchsticks, and this is in Truffle. I think this is probably going to be one of the few products from Fenty I'm going to be able to use today. So I'm going to go ahead and give, put this on. I'm using the truffle stick and this angled brush to contour my nose. I hope I don't regret this, but I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Concealer in 15 and put it right there. Okay, that looks good. I do have a powder from Pat McGrath, but it's, it's, it's all right. I do want to try the one by Minted. I've heard so many good things about this powder. I hope it works out for me. I'm very picky when it comes to my under eye powder. Um, I have a lot of creasing under my eyes and not a lot of powders work for me i'm using the shade light tan i think they have like three shades it's looking good so far i think i'm gonna like this powder it's looking good i don't usually bake but i'm gonna just leave the powder on while i do my eyes because i'm going to do something a little more on the colorful side when it comes to eyeshadow i feel like juvia's place kills the game i have a few palettes from them and and from what i know they're pretty pigmented and very good quality shadows for the price um today we're going to be using the masquerade mini another brand that's also black owned that i love is brazen and beauty this is their cosmic queen palette and this is what it looks like so yeah we're pretty much going to be like doing something like on the blue bluish green side this palette just has like a really pretty blue in it i swatched it last night i was like i have to use it i just have to um we're going to start off by putting a lighter concealer on the lid this this is the juvia's place concealer Um, even though I'm doing um, brighter colors today, I'm still going to be putting like a brown transition shade in my crease. Um, I'm going to use Zulu right here. So I'm just going to blow this out in my crease. I don't want anything really defined. I just want to blow it out. I'm going to dip into Azura Skies in the Cosmic Queen palette. I'm just going to pat this in and I think I'm gonna just put it all over my lid like you guys see how pigmented that is oh it's so pretty 
I do have a coupon code if you would like to try anything from this brand um, you can use code Jador Drew and I will also link it down below she has a lot of palettes lip products and lashes as well that you could um, try out starting up as a smaller influencer this brand was pretty much one of the first brands that ever reached out to me and sent me their whole line so I'm very grateful for them And then from here, I'm just going to take a clean brush and blend out those edges. And the color that I really wanted to use the most was this shade called Zola. And the Masquerade palette, I think I'm going to use my fingers. It's just like, they're like the perfect match for each other. The pigment on these shadows insane okay sorry about that guys my camera cut off and i completed the rest of my eye i took the matte blue shade and blew it out on my lower lash line and i added a blue liner on my waterline i wanted to see how the blue was going to come out before i picked my bronzer and blush and i have the beauty bakery face palettes and i have it in brownie bar and Neopolitan, I think that's how you say it. I bought them when they released and I'm a sucker for bronzer and blush and I couldn't choose which one I wanted so I bought both. I feel like either one could work for this look. For bronzer, we're gonna use the Neopolitan bar. I like the shades in the brownie bar, but I feel like it might be a little, just a little bit too dark for what I'm going for. We're gonna add a little bit of this orange blush and see what it looks like. Hmm, that's pretty. I never even kicked off the powder, but it looks good. Just for a little bit, punch i'm gonna add a tiny bit of this pink yeah those colors mixed together are so pretty we're gonna use the highlighter in this palette it's not giving me the glow that i'm going for the one in the neapolitan palette it kind of has a little bit of pink in it um i'm gonna put it on because i feel like the two highlighters mixed together will give me what I'm going for. I could use my Danessa Myricks palette. I'm gonna use Easy Breezy from the Danessa Myricks Light Work palette. Just add a little more glow. I'm also gonna use that shade on my inner turtle okay now for lips we're going to use some products from minted i have two lipsticks from the minted brand nude and dope taupe from the looks of it i think i'm using dope taupe oh this is a nice lipstick like it just went on so smooth I like the shade of this lipstick, but it's a little too dark for the look that I'm going for today. I wanted something more bronzy and light, kind of summery, kind of. So I'm going to take a little bit of it off and then, yeah, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Matchstick in Latte. And that's why I like these matchsticks so much. Like, you could do so many things with them. And then I'm going to just add a little bit more. And I'm going to add Fenty's lip gloss in Fussy. Now that's a bomb lip combo. That is really pretty. This is my final look using only black owned products. And my face looks super bomb the only product that i used for the very first time today was besides the lipsticks was the powder by minted and it's amazing i've heard so many good reviews but wow my under eyes look so good 
I think I just found a new setting powder. Um, if you guys watch any of my videos before, you guys know the ABH setting powder is my favorite. But I might just put that one in my drawer for a little bit. I'm not going to say I like one more than the other, but out of all the setting powders that I've bought within the last six months, trust me guys, it's been a lot. <laughs> This is the only one outside of the ABH powder that works for me. Okay, Minted. Now I'm really excited to try out the foundation. And I really like these Beauty Bakery palettes. I forgot, this is also my first time trying the Beauty Bakery. These are the first products that I ever bought from Beauty Bakery. I do wanna try their foundation and concealers. If you wear Beauty Bakery and like you're one of my foundation twins, let me know your shade down below in the comments because I definitely want to give them a try as well. And these palettes worked out pretty nicely. I was able to get use out of both of them and they're pretty nice. Um, And those, the two eyeshadow palettes that I use today stole, like stole the show, like look at my eyes. So yeah guys, I'm gonna leave down below all of the information for the products that I use today. And I want you guys to let me know down below some of your favorite black owned makeup brands down below because I would love to try more so if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video bye